我ながら驚きだよ生徒たちに負けてられないね。It's your host, I love destruction, the most chaos gamer here. And yes, we are back with some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. And in today's video, we are going to be going over one of the new units that have released in this game, Fantasy Aizawa. And it feels so great to say new unit showcase because man, has it been the longest time since we have been able to do this. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's blow this shit right the hell up. And ladies and gentlemen, let us get started with today's video. So you guys already know how the process works. We're going to be looking at the character's kit. Then after that, we're going to be showcasing them. And in the end, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinion about the character. And off rip, I'm going to say this. He is definitely better than Yellow Aizawa. I can say that without a doubt. So let's go inside. Let's take a look and see what he's able to accomplish. Oh, wait, wrong thing. But yeah, he is on the 11th board. I was going to show that after I went over his kit. But hey, you know what? It went over early. So, his plus ultra move, which is the Obliterating Sword, what a cool name for a cool character, cancels all temporary buffs of a single opponent, then he deals 650% damage to a single opponent. The Yellow Aizawa does the same thing, actually, that's like, right ripped off from him, that whole sentence. So this is what's new, is that he has a high chance of seeing the opponent's skills for 3 turns, then he has a medium chance of causing the opponent to bleed for 3 turns. So, if you guys don't know, bleed is basically the same thing as burn, but the fact that he's able to uh, seal the opponent's skills for 3 turns, that's very good right there because that causes them to be stunned and make sure that they don't do anything with their action skills, not not the normal attacks, they're still going to be able to do their normal attacks. And if it was something like a stun that Midnight is able to do, then that would be different. Then we have the first action skill which is going to be Erasure, cancels 3 temporary buffs for off a single opponent. Then decreases the opponent's power by 20% for 3 turns, decreases the opponent's defense by 30% for 3 turns, and it has a medium chance of seeing the opponent's skill for 3 turns. The cooldown is for 4 turns. Fire! That is amazing. And if... Actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll save that towards the end. Second action skill, which is going to be the Binding Assault. Deals 375% damage to a single opponent, medium chance of binding the opponent for 2 turns, increases plus ultra gauge by 30%, then also increases skill impact by 30% if the opponent is affected by power down, and the cooldown is for 4 turns. So, already we can see with this Aizawa is that you want to activate the first action skill, and then the second action skill to get that boost in power. But, if you don't really feel like getting that boost in power, you can definitely do the second first. And then after, you can use the first so you can get rid of the buffs that they are activating after the first turn goes by with them activating their uh, skills and then getting their buffs on their auto skills, all that other stuff. Next, we have the first auto skill, which is going to be through preparation. He cancels one of the character status ailments every turn, then also increases speed of all pro hero allies by 25%. So if you have a team that is with Midnight, uh, Aizawa, and then you can put, let's say, Mount Lady, President Mike, Endeavor, then that is where you are going to be getting that speed and you're going to be faster. I will be trying that with one of the Ultra Arena matches that we will go up against. Hopefully, you know, I can see that he is going to be faster than other opponents. Second auto skill, which is going to be the Logical Thinking, gives character the ability to evade one time after receiving an attack from an opponent with Piercing Shot. Oh my god. Then give character a barrier that nullifies one hit after receiving an attack from an opponent with Bullseye. Also increases character skill impact by 10% when using a successfully executed skill chain up to 6 times. Okay, so what I'm seeing so far is that he's able to stack up his damage. He's able to get a barrier after receiving a hit. And he is able to get piercing shot with evasion after receiving an attack from opponent. And it doesn't look like there is a limit to that. Okay, this Aizawa is looking spicy. And for you guys don't know what piercing shot is, let me actually pull it up for the website. Uh, give me a little bit. No. I always... This is my thing. When I want to look at something, I always click characters first. I never click the, the status effects. Alright, so piercing shot ignores barrier damage down and defense when attacking. So, that is a crazy skill because you're basically going through every defensive buff that they have. And you're going to hit them for the amount of damage that your character is able to do normally without any, um, you know, interference with that damage being lowered. So, now that we went over this Aizawa, let's go into our first piece of content, which is going to be the V Tower. Then we'll do USJ mode, and for the finale, we'll go into Ultra Rita. So, we'll be right back with that, ready to go. Alright, guys, so far, our first piece of content, V Tower, and we are going up against Kirishima. Let's see how Aizawa is going to fare. This is the team right here. Now... <laughs> 
I'm gonna show you guys real quick before we enter this. Look at my blue characters right now, and thank God I pulled the Aizawa, because my blue characters were looking awful. Jesus, I just gotta thank the heavens, man. They saw that my team was crap with the blue side, and they were like, yo, here you go. A free character that's going to help you cook. Okay. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got all that good stuff, whatever. So, we're gonna activate this first, then we're gonna do the. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna do this, this, and then this. Because remember, he does get buffed on his uh, successfully executed skill chain. And we're gonna stack that damage up to 60%. Okay. 13k, how much? No, not yet, not yet. Sorry, I, I gotta remember that. Does no damage. It's the second one that does damage. And now let's see how much damage he's able to accomplish. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Alright, 24k. And 42k, that's not bad, that's decent damage with this. Now, once it gets stacked, we're gonna see that damage even boosted, but for a starting turn, it's not bad. Okay, now we got his plus ultra, let's check out the animation and see from there. How much damage is he gonna do? Now, the animation is alright, I don't know how to really feel about it. It, it looks cool, but it's nothing crazy. Alright, 56k. And this man got barrier now. Alright, counter. Uh, damn, I wish it was like a counter on counter off, but it's whatever. Do I want Madoya to do it? Yeah, you know what, Madoya, let's go. Activate your plus ultra, then we're not activating anymore, because he is getting pretty low on HP. Okay, let's attack. Yo, how about you attack my good old friend Aizawa real quick? How about that? Okay, now let's activate this again. Get the power down. This is executed chain. Okay. No, not plus ultra yet. Alright, now let's see how much damage this is going to do once again. We should be having um the full effects now. 53k. Now, if that would have crit, that would have done like probably 70s to 80k's. So, come on, Aizawa. I want to see a crit from you. Let's go. Maybe this one could be it. Or if anything, this one could do a lot of damage, right? Aizawa? 62k. Uh, this damage is increasing. That's what I like to see. Okay. Let's go, Aizawa. Let's get it. Um, Now, we'll do this. And then, before we end it off. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed it up that time. We'll just activate the plus ultra. Uh, can we activate the plus ultra? No, we can't. Kirishima has to crit and kill him. Alright, but so far, that looked pretty amazing for my boy Aizawa. Not the craziest uh, uh, damage, though. I like 40, 50k, but one, the damage is going up. And two, another thing as well is that he's doing so much other things besides the damage behind the scenes. Like, we were able to hit him a, a lot more harder. He was able to hit us a lot more or less. And we were able to go through the barrier that he put up on that shield. But now, let's head into our next piece of content, which we're probably going to smoke in under 5 to 6 turns, the USJ mode. So we'll be right back with that, ready to go. Now, here we are facing off against Endeavor in the USJ mode. We're going to be having our good ally, Bakugo, at the side. This is not the team that we are bringing. I don't know why it always goes back to the beginning. This is the team that we're going to be bringing, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, this time we don't have a character with Barrier that we're fighting against, so we're just going to be seeing Aizawa just doing that damage, doing all that good stuff, and let's just see how he can perform from here. But mind you, since it is USJ mode, this is where he's going to be hitting a lot more harder, because USJ mode bosses, especially at the level 5 difficulty, they are not that hard at all, trust me, guys. Compared to the event bosses, this is nothing right here. This has got to be like one of the easiest bosses you ever fight in the game. Alright, so let's start off with a nice 60k from our boy Bakugo. Mind you, he is almost 2 years old. Uh, lower the damage. And then 46k from our boy Midoriya. Nice. You don't see that high from him. Alright, now let's do this right here. Let's get it right. Nice. Alright, how much damage are you doing? 62k. Oh, you see? Now the damage is starting to ramp up right here. We're already on, what, turn 3? Oh my god, let's see how much the plus ultra does. This has to do 99999 no matter what. Right, Aizawa? Aizawa? 60k again. Damn it, if it would have crit, I know for sure it would have hit 999. Alright, how much damage is this Midoriya doing with him? 57k. All right, it's damage, but compared to our boy Aizawa, you know, we just got to show him a little bit more love, even though it's 3k difference. All right. All right, it's damage. Then hit him with the counter. Then we'll do this again. And then our next turn, we're going to be able to get the action skill. All right, lower. And then 42k for my boy. Next turn, he's going to do, I bet you, another 60k. But not right now, because his action skill is not coming back to the next turn. Okay. A little damage. And 999, there we go. You see with that crit, he was able to accomplish that high-ass amount of damage. That's what we love to see right there. Now, can we see it on the plus ultra is that one? That's what we want to see right here. Come on. Show us, show us, show us. I didn't see the damage. Damn it. But I know it was around like the, probably, I'm going to guess like 60 or 70k. Please tell me I'm right with that. Because if this man did 45k, he had to do like double the damage he did right there. All right, now let's do this. Get it? Yes. And then 21k. All right, that's without the defensive drop. All right, but we are—he is doing less damage though. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now let's do this right here. Wait, let me see something real quick. Okay, let's just go with it. Okay. And then, I'm not gonna let Midoriya do it. I want Aizawa to be the one to finish it off. That's why I missed, if anything. Okay. No. Let's just do this now. And he does get the full Ultra Gage boost right there. 44k. Nice. Counter once again. 25k out of crit. Jesus Christ, can you calm down, please? Alright, let's just, uh, go the normal kill. Damn it, the normal kill. Kirishima again. Ruining me doing the plus ultra at the end. Ah. But hey, you gotta give respect to the boy Kirishima. It doesn't get really that much love unless it's the yellow version of him. But now, let's head into our final piece of content, which is going to be Ultra Arena. Where I think this man is gonna shine a little bit more than the other modes. My, I mean, hmm. It, it depends. I mean, because the cancel temporary buff, that's where I'm gonna, like, see, like, an Ultra Arena, but she can say single bosses as well. But we'll just see from there. Let's go. Now time for some Ultra Arena action. So, wait, why is it? <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, we'll give you this because I want to try this support memory with Aizawa. Okay, so this is the first thing that we're going to be going up against. And these are the characters that we are using. But from here on outwards, I want to try this team right here. Especially with that new support memory from the Uraraka that came out, the fantasy one. I want to see if this Endeavor is going to be popping off with the damage even more. Now that he gets composure for four turns, rather than in his auto skill, he gets it for how many turns? Let's see right here. He's able to get it for three turns when the battle starts. So he'll have that extra turn of composure. But let's just save that for now. Let's go into this first match and let's see how we are going to fare. Remember now that Aizawa is able to get piercing shot after receiving an attack. That's what I remember. I hope I'm right now. Either that or after um, getting attacked. But let's see if maybe, if anything, we can one-shot this Kirishima right here. Okay. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's start off with this right here. Oh, they are faster than us. Wow. Okay. Damn. This guy put a lot into his speed. At 11k. Uh, counter. Then we get the barrier. But sadly, none of those hit. Aizawa for us to get the piercing shot. So we just got to deal with this. But let's lower his defensive power. Oh, I thought we all attacked Aizawa. There's no way that Ollie attacked her. Come on, man. That's like Noobish 101. Uh, let's do this right here. Yes, now we're faster. Okay, so we're going to get rid of his barrier right here. Get the action skill cooldown time from here. And how much damage are we doing? 19k. But we binded him. That's good. So now he's not able to use his other action skill. That's what I'm talking about with Aizawa that makes him so good right there. But damn, now this man has evasion. Shit. Um, let's do this and then we'll save. Oh, but he's going first. Um... Okay, let's do this right here to get rid of it, right? Bam. And then after that... Oh, wait. Everybody get piercing shot? Oh, my God. Wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Because he had evasion. What? Hold on. Okay, we can't see it because the carry is dead. But he had evasion. Did I read that wrong? There's no way that everybody gets piercing shot. That's broken. What? Oh, okay. We're going to read his kit again just in case I missed something. I feel like probably most of you guys were screaming at me about that, if anything. Oh, my God. All right. Lower... And what a nice amount of damage that one shots him for free. Yeah, Aizawa and Bakugo are going to be a nasty duel together. I could already see the possibilities are just threatening. All right. Now let's do this. How much damage? Everybody's dead. Damn it. I said i never done that. We're going to have to do an ice and match with Aizawa after that. Oh, but damn, that was beautiful right there. Because I know I'm not messing with my head. I definitely saw evasion right there. But... Okay, uh, what team? I do not want to fight a team. Let's fight this team right here. And let's go back to Aizawa real quick. Because skills, decreases, deals, uh, gives character the ability to evade, gives character a barrier that nullifies one hit after receiving an attack from an opponent with bullseye. But that's what I'm saying, like, gives character the ability to evade one time after receiving an attack from an opponent with piercing shot. Oh, he doesn't get, wait, but how did they get piercing shot right there? What? Huh? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I guess that weird anomaly was just it's gonna be a weird anomaly. Alright, next match, let's go. And then after that, we're gonna do the two other matches with the Pro Heroes. Alright. But so far, thank God that Aizawa did not die, nor can Aizawa die in one hit because they're able to get that evasion unless we are fighting somebody with piercing shot. This team right here is straight up nasty. But with Aizawa, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh man, oh, I'm loving this already. We can get rid of that buff that that damn um, Kirishima has. Alright, please, somebody get one shot of ball. Okay, be careful, please. Ah, oh, but the Frozen, that's not fair right there. Damn it. Lucky Shota, man. That man got lucky right there. Ah, oh, but we're still going second. 
Oh, please nobody die, please nobody die, please nobody die. Okay, dodge. Nice, the counter. Okay, good. Alright, get the stun grenade right there. Go with the second action skill, and then get that defense down and the rid of buff. Okay. Hey, only 8,000. I feel like Warrock is dead though, if anything. Okay, no, 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 she lives. Oh my god. And they got her plus action skills fast. Sorry, her plus ultra is faster. My words are all over the place just because we're going up against a crazy opponent right here. My right, 5,000, not the crazy amount of damage. I thought of anything, the, um, the buff will go away, but I guess it's still there. Okay, dodge, nice. Get the defense drop on it. Counter, 8,000, e 6,000, and 4,000. Uh, thank God we are healing, though. Now let's do this, and hopefully one-shot him with the defensive debuff. Oh, never mind. I hit the wrong person. But you know what? That's good that we did get the Bakugo because the Bakugo is going to be a threat. So now let's do the normals. Please don't attack Aizawa. Please, 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 please. Ah, no, Aizawa. But let's see if we can one shot it. With our boy Aizawa leaving his gift. Come on, come on, come on. Kill, 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 kill. Yes, let's go. Even in death, Aizawa helped us out right there. Bro, get out of my face, the both of y'all. Like, you are a waste of my time. Oh. Okay, <laughs> never mind. But it doesn't matter because you're dead anyway. Alright. Nice. 99999999. Nothing because we got the dodge and the uh, resistant and ailment. And you know what? Yo, Urak, I hit him with the sword. You could. Bye. And now, let's switch it up and let's use our pro heroes. Mm -hmm. This would have been a perfect if it was my other team. But my other team might get switched up. I think Shoto might bounce. And then we might have Aizawa on the main team. You guys let me know. Alright, now let's go up against this team right here, and let's use the heal. This team is gonna be- damn, if I'm faster than everybody and I get the stun off with our girl Midnight, oh my god, it's over. It's over. Like, what, what, what can you do? You are all male, except Momo. But honestly, I don't care. Ah, uh, yes, we are faster, let's go. Alright, so, get that. With the speed debuff, and then can we get anybody? No, we didn't, but we got the charm off. I'll take that. Uh, Endeavor, relax, please. Okay, good, good, good. Thank God that our girl lowered the um, amount of damage that we were able to take from access Oh, uh, no, we'll do this right here. And yeah, we'll just keep attacking our boy, Kirishima. Uh, 12k. Stun him? No, we didn't get the stun. Ah, oh, damn it, both the counters, man. It makes us attack different parts of the unit. Um, are we gonna be first? Are we faster? Yes, we are faster, let's go, nice. Alright, that's not gonna do anything below our speed, which I don't care about. 19k, and then Aizawa with 26k, with the bind, let's go, that's what we like to see, and we also got two binds, oh, this is nasty right here, oh, you're lucky that last another turn, all right, come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. he's about to die, all right, he's dead, wait, no, he's not, ah, oh, no, but can we stun him, that's the main part, stun, no stun, but we are lowering his power, removing his boss and everything, oh, but we got the diva, yes, Okay, now we got purple endeavor here. Nice, with the, and we should be faster. So if anything, people are gonna start dying. All right, knock them. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. You had a good life. Now how much damage? Nice. Lower them all the way to yellow. All right, but midnight might die. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, midnight. But we do get evasion from our boy Hawks. That's what we like to see right here. Uh, him. Get out of here, you loser. Okay, nobody has pushing shots. So we got counter. Alright, AoE, but that's not gonna do any damage. AoE for my guys right here. Oh, let's go! Give it to that stupid Kirishima! And then as for Momo, oh no, not Momo, shut the down. Ah, he didn't die, but you know, now he don't got those buffs no more. And sorry, your barrier is not going to work with our multi-head attack. Um, now we just have to survive, but I'm scared of Shigaraki because he does do a lot of gap. Shigaraki does a ton of damage on heroes. Oh, we're doing so good though. Damn it! No! Oh, we lost. But that was a great showing overall though. Even though we lost, damn. Ah, oh, wow. It's just that our guys couldn't take hits like that. But it's whatever. Um, let's fight this team right here. Let's go a little bit easy on ourselves, and then we'll end off the showcase and talk about how our boy Aizawa did. Yeah, but I might put him on the main team though. I'm not gonna lie. All right, come on, load up. Thank you, appreciate it. Battle starter. You would have thought Aizawa and Bakugo had words to say. Or Kirishima, but I guess not. All right, uh, let's start off with this right here. And we are going first, nice. Go with the power defense. Do a lot of damage. 
and then hit him with the... Nope. Damn, he got resisted. Okay, 17k. They heal, so they took no damage. But our boy is stunned. Nice, that's what we like to see. Uh, now let's do this. I get stunned again, please. Somebody. Yes! Okay, Baku got stunned next. At 7,000. And no damage at all. Thank you. Woo! Both of them are stunned. Now they can't do anything. Alright, uh... Who's hitting? Damn, he one shot it. Oh no. But Aizawa is gonna be doing damage. Come on, boy. Let's see what you got. Damage, please. 20k with the removal of buffs. And then now our girl's gonna do damage. And if he lives, we do got the stun on him, right? Yep, we got the stun on him, but goodbye, you're dead. Alright, now here comes the threat uh Hado because he's able to lower our attack. But Endeavor, do damage. Uh, I thought you would do more damage than that. But our boy Bakugo is done. Nice. Uh, now, who do we want to hit? Okay, Bakugo has his eight. Oh, Bakugo is going to do damage, but she's going to lower our attack. Now, I can't let her lower our attack. Let's do this right here. Oh, the defense. Whip her. 20k. And then, goodbye. 48k. Alright, now we got the Christmas version of Asido. Which, I don't know whether she's good or not. I forgot about her. Alright, now we got Evasion. Do we have anything? Yes, we do. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get rid of this Bakugo right here. He's another throw. If we just have the two support types, it's easy picking. Come on. Yes! With the bind as well! That's not gonna do anything. And that's not gonna do anything. No! It did do something! Damn it! Die, you loser! Be careful, be careful, be careful. Um, Just attack her at this point. Even though they're not gonna do anything. Okay. Cooldown time reduced by one. I remember that. 10k. Relax, 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 relax. Oh no, somebody I think is dead. Hawks, 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 Hawks. No! Damn it, you should have hit the Hawks. Not the Endeavor, no! Ah, damn. That was good, but still, just us losing right there. That's unfortunate as hell. But now, let's go into the home screen and let's talk about how our boy Aizawa did. I can't believe. You know what? Not nah, screw it. Who said we're going back here? No, no, no. We're getting a win with this legendary trio right here. I know this trio could pop off. There's no way it can. And did I see Aizawa on the front? Hold on. No, it wasn't Aizawa. It was the blue Midori, right? No, who was blue then? What the hell? Unless he's in the back. All right. You are going to get hit first. You need to bounce. Air gets done. I don't need you with your composer doing a 50 million damage. All right, lower your buffs. Nice. And speed debuff. And we did get Midori. Haha, <laughs> loser. Um, now let's do this right here. You are dead. Goodbye. Whip. You're not dead. Now you're dead. There we go. And Midoriya is dead for free. Even if he survives the normals, the burn is going to finish him off. Damn. Relax. Burn. What? You lucky son of a gun. Um, let's hit this shot right here. Wrap it up. Uh, he's gonna give his support. Yep, skill packed up. And then he's gonna boost his damage and plus Ultra Gauge, but that doesn't matter. Alright, 11k, but that's not what we care about. We care about Aizawa, right? Right, Aizawa, we care about you. 22k, yep, goodbye. Deuces, you're done, kid. And then attack the Midoriya, yep, he's dead as well. Um, Okay, now we have no Ashes skills for this one. That's such a thing. Okay. Okay, we are alive. Nice, that's what we like to see. Now, can our girl stun the both of them? No, but she did stun one of them. That's what we like to see. And we removed the buff off that Shoto. So if anything, he's about to die this turn, yep. Or... Hmm, we could play the smart, attack him, and then get that Shoto later. Let's do it. Whip him, 11k. Goodbye. What? You live? Okay, you know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're dead. You're, and you're dying to normals. Yep. Let's go! And that is a perfect run. Even though we didn't go up against the best of teams, just like our girl Midnight, that's how I feel right now. Yo, if anything, we just did the Midnight Shoto right here. But now, let's go back into the lobby for real, and let's talk about our boy Aizawa. So Aizawa, how do we feel about the man overall? I think Aizawa is going to be a very great character despite what happened in Ultra Arena. I mean, man, it always happens for free, bro. What do you expect? And just the fact that he's able to remove buffs. Oh, well, we got the recording there right there. And also the fact that he's able to lower defense, lower attack, seal. It's just amazing. And then let's compare him to the old Aizawa before we end off today's video. I'll put old Aizawa's kit up so you guys can see as well. I mean, of course, he's going to be better than the old Aizawa, but, you know, this Aizawa was good for a long time and still pretty usable to this day. So, with this Aizawa, he's able to cancel all temporary buffs of a single opponent, deal 650% damage. As I said earlier, they ripped it off from the old Aizawa. 
but he has a medium chance of sealing the opponent's skill for two turns. Unlike this Aizawa where he's able to get it for three turns and he has a high chance of sealing. Now we have the first action skill which just deals 400% damage to a single opponent while cancels one temporary buff. On his first action skill alone, he's able to reduce power, get rid of buffs, lower defense, boost some no, he doesn't put so much ultra space, right? Let's see real quick. Hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not bullshitting. But yeah, he's able to do a lot more than what the old Aizawa is able to accomplish. Then we got the second action skill, which, uh, where is it? It just deals 100% damage, medium chance of sealing, and then, uh, for three turns when you're using an executed skill chain. While this one is doing damage, binding, increasing post ultra gauge, increasing skill impact, and all that other good stuff. And then the auto skills, it just increases power of ally hero characters by 30%, which is good. But he's able to increase speed and get rid of status ailments. That is a great ability right there. While the second effect of his auto skill, which is increasing character speed by 40% when HP is 50% or higher. While here, he's able to evade after receiving an attack from character with piercing shot. Then he gives character a barrier that nullifies one hit after receiving an attack from opponent with bullseye. And also increases character skill impact by 10% up to 60% which is going to let him do more damage and just the fact overall that he's a fantasy unit just makes him a lot more better in the end of the day. So with that that's where we're ending today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to but it's always greatly appreciated. Also subscribe. Let me know after using this Isaiah for two days if you have him. How do you feel about the man himself? I had to use a lot of gems to max him out in one day and overall I am happy with the results. So with that I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.